Hi friends, so today we're going to make a mitten just like the book we read today. So this is my mitten here. I have a lot of cool patterns in my mitten, right? Yeah, a lot of different colors and patterns. And so I wanna see that today as we're creating art. So before we get started, I want to mention I'm using Sharpie. I want you to use pencil today. I'm using, you can draw over your pencil with Sharpie when you're finished or a black marker but I'm showing you first with black marker so you can see better. The next thing is we wanna make sure that we're in landscape, which is this way, right? It's almost like a hamburger or a hot dog. It's good and I could almost grab it and eat it. If I turned it this way, this would be portrait and I'm not gonna have enough room to draw my mitten, right? So I wanna make sure I turn my paper so it is landscape. Awesome. Okay, so to get started, you're going to start off with a rectangle for the arm. So I'm gonna come here, and there's my rectangle. And I'm sorry, this Sharpie's not very good. Let me get another one. Okay, so sorry, let's start at that again. So you're gonna do a rectangle, just like that. And then you're going to draw a vertical line that's a little longer than your um, arm. Then in this part, I can actually turn my paper so I can, um, this will help me draw better. So now I'm gonna go from this point right here and I'm gonna make a really tall rainbow almost to where I hit the top of my paper. And then my rainbow is gonna come back down here. Awesome. And then now, I can turn it back landscape. And the last thing I had to do is give him a thumb, right? So when we give a thumb, it's almost like a really skinny rainbow, right? You don't wanna make it too skinny. But I'm gonna come about here. And there is my thumb. And now my mitten is ready to decorate with pattern. So the first thing I did is I divided my mitten into sections. like that and then I did this section like that so now that my mitten is divided into sections I can design each section with a different pattern so I can turn it this way if it helps me design it better so the first thing I could do is maybe I want to just do a wavy line so I'm touching the lines and then I'm going back down, so wavy line. And there's my first pattern. And then I can come in and do other patterns. So I could do diagonal lines. Really think of line types and shapes that you can use in your mitten, right? So then there's that. Then I could even do hearts. And then I'm just gonna repeat the heart. And one more. So then there's my three hearts. And if I wanted to, I can even add smaller hearts inside those hearts. Right? Cool. And then the last, I can do another one. Um, I did one like this where I did wavy lines. And then I put squares inside those, but you can do other shapes. You can do circles. So we're pretending like it's going off the page. So a pattern is something that repeats itself. So we're just doing that in each section, right? Awesome. And maybe in the last section, I wanna do some zigzag lines. And I can do diagonal zigzag lines, which is really cool. And then I can add um, shapes inside of those, or I can add different types of lines. So maybe I could do diagonal lines in between the zigzag lines, right? So there's so many options for patterns. Try not to copy mine. Try and come up with your own patterns. And then the last patterns I would do is inside the thumb, I could do each, each section like I just did. So I'll do X's, right? And then I could even design the sweater. So for the sweater, what I did is I made 
vertical lines to show like the edge of a sweater like mine. So vertical lines. And then I did stripes. Mine doesn't have stripes, but you can do whatever you want for the arm of the sweater. Once you're done, make sure you're coloring it. Color at a three or a four, please. And next week we're gonna do something really cool on our mitten. So make sure you're working hard to finish this today and we will finish it next week.